Welcome back to the shop. This week we're going to be talking about a bike that's a little bit different than normal. Obviously on this channel we do a lot of reviews of ADV motorcycles, but before you get started in ADV motorcycles, if you don't already, it's probably a good idea to get a little bit of a dirt background. And if you're looking to do that for a relatively reasonable price, a bike that is very easy to manage and get used to and also gives you room to grow, this Honda CRF 230F I think is an excellent, excellent choice and I'll tell you why. So this bike here is a CRF 230F. It is not the street legal motorcycle. So that's the first thing to note about this is if you are looking for something that's street legal, the CRF 250L is probably the bike that you're looking for. I have not ridden that bike, I can't speak about that bike and it is a very different bike than the CRF 230F that we have here. This particular bike is a friend of mine, Ernie. He was nice enough to let me keep it out here at the shop and use it. And I've done a lot of riding on it. Other friends of ours have also done riding on it. It is a very, very robust, and in my opinion, an underrated machine. I say that it's underrated because this particular bike falls into the category of what most people would call a trail bike. And like a lot of riders, we oftentimes get caught up in the need for more power, bigger suspension travel, um, air cooled versus liquid cooled, all these factors. What I want to highlight about this bike and others similar to it, like the Yamaha TTR, is that these air cooled machines, although they're older technology that has a rear drum brake, for example, they're still very, very capable motorcycles and can teach you a lot of the fundamentals that then you can transition over to either a larger off-road enduro motorcycle or even the larger ADV bikes. The reason why I like the Honda CRF 230 so much is because one, it is a Honda and as I've said before in other reviews like the Africa Twin, nobody beats Honda when it comes to pure reliability. This bike in particular stands out even further because of the fact that it is that air-cooled motor. Air-cooled motors, although they're not the latest technology, they've been around forever, they're very, very durable. Because it's air-cooled, the components are built heavier duty, so they're able to withstand those temperatures that come from being air-cooled. A byproduct of that, essentially what it does, is it makes the bike very, very durable low maintenance, easy to get to the air filter, easy oil changes, dirt cheap in every single regard, yet extremely capable. This particular bike has been in the shop now for about a year and a half to two years. Uh, I've personally ridden it in the yard over obstacles, everything that I have laid out here that I used to go over on the trials motorcycle, except for the steeple chase. I have not been over that on this bike. I don't have the skills for that. I am confident that it could be done on this motorcycle. However, the logs, the tractor tires, all of those things, this bike makes it over very, very well. And one of the reasons why it does that is because it instills rider confidence. When you jump on a bike that is this size and this power, you feel completely in control of the motorcycle and the motorcycle is not riding you, which is one of the reasons why I think it's good for many people to spend some time either if they buy one of these or if they have a friend trying one out because it can just build a lot of the basic skills and fundamentals that you will use in a variety of other forms of riding for a very, very cheap price and also build your confidence very, very quickly. The power delivery on this motorcycle, it is not a big power motorcycle, so you just have to accept that but that will actually teach you to focus on your riding skills more and operate the motorcycle accordingly. So if you're gonna try and get over a log or something like that, you can't rely on just the sheer power and try to wheelie over the log. You're gonna to have to practice the technique, you're gonna to have to get it down, preload the suspension, catch the rebound, and do a double blip approach to get over a log on this particular motorcycle. But it can do it. It has enough ground clearance to get over any obstacle imaginable. Again. I'll include a shot of those tires that this bike has been over to give you guys an idea of exactly how big these obstacles are that I'm talking about. In addition, if you do some minor upgrades to this motorcycle, I wouldn't recommend going crazy, but simple things like hand guards, fixed hand guards, that's just always a good item to keep the levers from getting broken if you drop the motorcycle. 
Once you've done that, and maybe a skid plate if you are going to be going over obstacles frequently, that'll protect the bottom. Although this bike does have an inherent amount of protection because it is a full frame design. There are two tubes down at the bottom of the engine. They do a very good job of protecting the engine as you're crossing obstacles, even without a skid plate. There's no radiator up front to get damaged or hit by rocks, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Again, the key here is just simplicity. And that simplicity will allow you to focus on your riding skill. As I mentioned earlier, this bike does have a rear drum brake, so it is not ideal for locking up the rear and learning to slide the bike around, but that drum does do a reasonably good job and will allow you to do it and get the practice at that. Because the bike is smaller, if you're trying to practice pivot turns where you're you know, planting the front wheel and rotating the rear around, again, you'll have to give it a lot of gas, but it can do it and it can teach you all of those fundamentals that again, apply to a variety of other forms of riding. So highly, highly recommend this particular motorcycle, especially for newer riders. Speaking of newer riders, I'll share a story with this particular motorcycle. A friend of mine had two uh, girls who had reached their 17th birthday and they were interested in learning to ride a motorcycle. He asked me if I would be willing to teach. And although I don't claim to be a teacher or an expert by any means, it was just the basics and the fundamentals. So I agreed to do it. I had taught my own son many, many years ago, the fundamentals on how to ride a motorcycle. This bike in particular was the bike that was going to be used and it worked out really well because it's large enough that 17 year olds still fit on it comfortably, but it's not so large that it's intimidating. Bear in mind that these two girls had never driven a manual transmission in a car, let alone put a leg over a motorcycle. So they showed up with appropriate gear. We spent about 15, maybe 20 minutes here in the shop going over the basic controls and fundamentals of this motorcycle. And then we headed out to the yard to do some practicing. It took all of an hour and a half to teach both of those girls taking turns on this motorcycle all of the fundamentals to get down the clutch, the shifting, the brakes, front and rear, all of those operations. And within an hour and a half on this bike, they were able to go from absolutely no experience to riding around confidently, applying the front brake, the rear brake, shifting through gears, up shifting, down shifting, all of the basics. So again, if you have a younger or a newer rider, this is the perfect bike to get them started on. If they outgrow it, they hold their value really well and you can always resell it. But again, these are all the things that just help to make the Honda CRF 230, in my opinion, one of the best deals that you can do if you or someone you know is looking to get into off-road riding. Or again, if you're an ADV rider that came from a street background and you wanna get a little bit more off-road experience and do that without starting off on the big 500 plus pound ADV motorcycles, this is a great option for that too. I would highly recommend this bike. It's one that again is very, very durable, very, very cheap to buy, very, very cheap to maintain, and it really is a capable motorcycle. A good rider on this bike in like a hair scramble or something like this could probably outpace most sea level riders that are riding more of a KTM or a Honda 450F or something like that simply because they have the skills and they can use the bike to its fullest. In addition to that, because the bike is smaller, it's extremely lightweight given what it is. It's easy to pick up. If you get onto hill climbs and you drop it, if you're on an angle, none of these things really cause major problems because again, the bike is just so small and so manageable. All off-road Hondas from my experience that are carbureted do tend to run a little bit rough with stock jetting. So I'd recommend looking online, finding the right jets and getting those replaced because they can take a significant amount of time to warm up before the throttle response becomes really, really good. Once they're fully warmed up, then it's perfectly fine. But again, it does take some time and that's a small fix with just some jets and a little bit of time. So not a big deal. This particular bike has been ridden by a wide variety of riders, myself included. I am five foot 11. Yes, it is on the smaller side, but it's perfectly comfortable. I've had a friend that's over six feet. He's ridden it and he's managed it just fine. Obviously he'd be a little more comfortable if it had a taller seat or some bar risers, but he managed it and had fun on it. So again, it can just appeal to a very, very broad spectrum of riders. 
So again, if you are interested in this, be sure to check one of these out. So there's a quick review of the Honda CRF 230, a bike that I highly recommend, a bike that I have a lot of admiration for, and a relatively inexpensive motorcycle to boot. So as always, if you liked this video, please be sure to give it that thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notified when we upload new videos. And as always, until next time, take care and ride safe.